Hello everyone, welcome to Orthopedia Essentials. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, hemiarthroplasty prosthesis basically. Now hemiarthroplasty basi uh, prosthesis basically are of uh, uh, two types uh, that is unipolar and uh, bipolar. In, in unipolar, we have uh, Austin Moore and Thompson's hip prosthesis and in uh, uh, bipolar hip prosthesis we have a variety of options that is cemented uncemented and modular in austin moore uh, prosthesis the, uh, the parts are head neck collar and stem right now uh, the role of the collar is the collar sits over the calcar right role of the collar is the collar sits over the calcar now you, uh, you can appreciate there is a hole in the collar and the stem part the call the role of the collar uh, hole is uh, to maintain the antiversion while insertion of the stem whereas the role of the uh, holes in the stem or the fenestration in the stem is uh, that we put uh, bone graft into this uh, fenestration that we acquire from the uh, excised femoral head we put we put in uh, we, we put the bone graft inside it right and uh, we insert uh, we insert the femoral stem now uh, initially uh, the femoral stem of the austin moor is fixed is fixed by press fit right and then uh, then eventually it uh, gets uh, fixed with the stem by bone in growth right the criteria for using austin moore uh, prosthesis is there must be calcar of at least 1.5 cm preserved now uh, there is another uh, uh, difference from the thompson's prosthesis that as you can see in the uh, right side image that there is a shoulder this uh, this shoulder uh, this shoulder has had some grooves and prominences which abuts against the uh, medial aspect of the greater trochanter and it prevents rotation in thompson's hip prosthesis uh, you can uh, easily appreciate that the the, the parts uh, that is the head neck and the collar and the stem as you can see in thompson's prosthesis the collar is all around that is there is 360 degree collar right and uh, the, the, and therefore it is used in uh, the cases where the calcar is less than one centimeter right and thompson's processes is can be used is used as cemented hemiarthroplasty hip prosthesis all right in unipolar prosthesis there is movement at one point that is between the prosthetic head and the acetabulum whereas in bipolar hip prosthesis there is movement at two points that is between the acetabulum and outer metallic head and another movement is between the smaller head and larger head which is lined by polyethylene therefore providing uh, movements at two points it gives the advantage of re improved range of motion and lesser chances of acetabular wear the parts of the bipolar hemiarthroplasty hip prosthesis are larger outer metallic head which is lined by polythene liner smaller inner metallic head which fits inside the larger outer metallic head which is lined by polythene liner and therefore they form interprosthetic joint why they are called bipolar they are called bipolar because there is movement at two points one is between the larger metallic head and the acetabulum and other movement is between the smaller head which is inside the larger outer metallic head which is lined by polythene liner apart from this they, they have neck which is fixed which is of fixed length in case of non-modular stems and uh, and the length can be changed in case of modular femoral stems apart from that there can be uh, there can be a stem with collar or without collar depending upon the type of implant the prosthesis we are using and there is also stem now in bipolar stem there can be 
fenestrations if we are using non cemented or there can be coating if we are using non cemented or it can be without any fenestrations or coating right so what are the advantages of bipolar uh, hip hemiarthroplasty prosthesis advantage is that we get a greater range of motion and acetabular wear which is important is also less as compared to as compared to uh, unipolar hip prosthesis now one should note that there is a th uh, theoretical uh, proposition that uh, the inner and outer head movement is lost within 3 months and therefore the bipolar uh, uh, after 3 months function as unipolar prosthesis now this is only a theoretical data all right another advantage of bipolar hip prosthesis is that if we want to convert the hip into total hip replacement in those cases we only need to replace the acet acetabulum only that is we need to place the acetabular component only provided the size of the femoral component is known so so this was all about uh, hemi arthroplasty prosthesis thank you and have a nice day